What's up, B2 Capital G here, looking at two new fusion monsters coming out in the Legendary Dragon decks that will be released next month. And honestly, I wasn't quite sure what the make of this product. It's like 30 bucks, so it's a little more expensive than a lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh booster packs and structure decks and whatnot. And you know, Konami promised us new cards and some uh, reprints of some very expensive kind of niche anime Waking the Dragon Yu-Gi-Oh season cards. But so far, I've been optimistic on it. I wasn't sure if the new cards were actually actually going to be viable or anything but i have to say of these two fusion monsters i've read the dark magician card i think that it is absolutely fantastic it has got me very hyped for the deck and uh as long as they give us a spell that can set up this dragon summon i think that this card is going to be really really good so this is dark magician the dragon knight um, it's a level 8 Dark Dragon Monster, uh, Fusion, obviously, by the way. Shoutouts to, uh, Dark Magician Girl, the Dragon Knight. Guess that's what they're kind of playing on. 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense, so the stat line of the monster is fantastic. The materials are a Dark Magician plus a Dragon-type monster, which is kind of weird. I don't really play any dragons in my Dark Magician, if you guys are curious. This is my current build right here. I don't play any dragons in Dark Magician. I really never have, but if they give us something like the Ayatomias to summon, this guy then i really don't think it's going to be that big of a deal the effect is as follows this card's name becomes dark magician while it is on the field or in the graveyard that is so fucking fantastic um effect number two or continuing on with the effect your opponent cannot target spells or traps you control with card effects also they cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects this card is so good and Dark Magician, it's almost un it's like you almost can't even explain it. If you play the Dark Magician deck, you understand why this card is good. For starters, it counts as Dark Magician while on the field. That means that if you have Eternal Soul on the field, it gets all the protection from Eternal Soul. So it's basically immune to anything your opponent throws at it. That means that when you summon it, if you have Circle Up, that means you can banish a card since it is a Dark Magician on the field. Very similar to this guy over here, Ma uh, Magician of Dark Illusion. It also means that while on the field, you can use navigations from the graveyard to negate your opponent's stuff so it has all the synergy but it even goes beyond that because unlike this card which would have become way more playable this counts as a dark magician in the graveyard that means that you can constantly summon it back over and over and over again with eternal soul this is not a nami monster it doesn't say anything about has to be special summoned every single time from your extra deck by using this prop method no 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 it just says that you know you fusion summon it and then you can do whatever you want with it and and best of all it actually makes up for dark magicians one achilles heel and that is obviously protecting eternal soul this card makes it so that your opponent can't blow your back row up which means they can't use twin twister they can't use galaxy cyclone they can't use the masterpiece to blow up your eternal soul and basically auto when it gets dark magician this card seems absolutely fantastic i really really hope konami does not want us to play dragon monsters in the deck though because that would be a catastrophe now, no one's trying to run polymerization and a blue eyes and all this other crap just give us a spell card like the eye of that counts as like a dragon and lets us summon this i guarantee you people will play this in the deck because this plus circle and navigation is just a, an amazing lock and even if your dude dies somehow like if you use it for link material you just summon it back from eternal soul let's go ahead and look at the new chimera tech. now this is the one i haven't read so this might not be as fluid i already had i already already had the dark magician dragon knight like set up because obviously i really care about dark magician blue eyes and machines i don't really give a fuck about so it's not going to be quite the setup uh level 10 dark machine type fusion obviously zero to zero defense so this seems very much like chimera tech over dragon requires um or materials a Cyber Dragon Monster, which there are just so many now because, uh, was it Cyber Dragon Core also counts as Cyber Dragon? Plus one monster or, uh, plus, oh, one plus monsters in the extra monster zone. Hmm. That doesn't specify your extra monster zone. That's that's interesting. <laughs> Let's see where we're going. Uh, cannot be used as fusion material. Must first be special summoned from your extra deck by sending the above uh, cards from either side of the field. There we go. That's all I wanted to see. Um, you do not eat, you do not use polymerization. So they're basically saying contact fusion. The original attack of this card becomes uh, twelve thousand times the number of materials used for its special summon. That's pretty dope. Oh my god! <laughs> if your opponent has a monster in your extra monster zone you just summon cyber dragon and you just take it you just you tribute it to the graveyard or now you're actually just contact fusing with it so that is this one is really good yes it is um you know it's conditional on your opponent having a monster in the extra monster zone or technically you having one but 
this is one of those cards in my opinion if you're running like cyber dragons you run one copy of this forever because there will be a situation where your opponent has a monster in their extra monster zone and you just want to get rid of it at the cost of just a cyber dragon you basically go plus one because your cyber dragon will replace itself with your um mega fleet dragon which i didn't even say this card's name did i uh, chimera tech mega fleet dragon it replaces itself at that and then even if you just use two monsters it is going to be 2400 attack i guess it can get to 3600 but 2400 is it's not bad so these are two very good monsters so far you guys let me know what you think i'm pleasantly surprised i i really thought konami was gonna fuck this up but no they gave us two i would say b b plus level monsters that is actually really good job konami a uh, little bit of a golf clap 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 thank you guys for watching as always let me know what you think in the comment section below and uh, subscribe if you have not already turn on the notifications for daily videos and uh, if you guys aren't doing anything in 30 minutes we'll be live streaming so you know be fucking around playing some new format yugimons